Hi, Ben from LabStrong. Today we're going to cover how to replace exhausted cartridge kits and install new cartridge kits in the LabStrong Rapids Type 1 water purification system. To begin with, our system is already telling us that the cartridge kit we have in place is exhausted. This right here is the notification code that tells us the exact problem and gives us a QR code that we can scan which will take us to a page where we can order a new cartridge kit. Once we've ordered a new kit, or let's say we already have another kit on hand, back out of the notification code and head to the menu in the top left. Hit maintenance, and then hit replace exhausted cartridges to get started. This operation will walk us through step by step how to replace the old cartridges and put in the brand new kit. First hit begin, and now we'll remove the gray cartridge cover. The easiest way to do this is simply to lift up from the bottom, Set that off to the side. We'll hit next. And now we'll remove the LabStrong 0.2 micron final filter if you have that accessory on your Rapids unit. Set the final filter off to the side. And at this point, we'll reattach the standard dispenser fitting, also known as the dispense hose fitting, which we have stored in the rubber grommet on top of the unit, specifically designed for holding the standard dispenser fitting. Now we'll hit next, and at this point, if your Rapids isn't located directly over a sink or a trough, you'll want to connect a dispense hose to the standard dispenser fitting to direct that water into a drain or sink or trough. Hit next, and now we can begin purging the excess water from the cartridges before we remove them. Once that five minute purge cycle is complete, we'll hit next. Now we'll use the fitting removal tool, which you can conveniently store on the cartridge strap right here, in order to remove those fittings from the cartridges. Remember that the Velcro side of the tool should be facing away from the cartridges, so Velcro up when you go up here, Velcro down on the bottom, in order to give you the best leverage to remove those fittings. Set the fitting removal tool off to the side, and your cartridges might drain a little bit extra, that's completely normal, and now we can remove the cartridges from the system. At this point, the Rapids will ask you if you'd like to perform the cleaning procedure before moving forward. We highly recommend you do this, or else you may run the risk of bacteria building up inside your system. Our first step in cleaning the system is to attach the fittings to the cleaning tubes found on the back of the Rapids unit. Whenever you're attaching fittings, whether it's to the cleaning tubes or the cartridges, it's important to remember to push past the first resistance that you feel in order to fully lock the fitting into place so it doesn't leak. For instance, up here, I attach it, I feel a little bit of resistance, and then I snap it into place and now it's fully locked in. Make sure those fittings are locked in nice and tight, and once we're good on that end, we can hit next. Now comes the easiest step in the whole process, which is to open the dispense valve. And to do that, we'll hit open dispense valve. Our next step is to inject the CMX 25 LS cleaning syringe and solution into the lure lock port. I'll demonstrate that in just a moment, but the Rapids also has a very handy demonstration right here on the screen for your convenience. The cleaning syringe and solution is an accessory that we highly recommend you purchase whenever you buy a new cartridge kit in order to be able to fully clean the system. A quick note, while we're working with the solution, we need to have protective gloves on and safety glasses. To inject the solution, simply twist off the lure lock fitting. Make sure you hang on to that. Twist off the cap on the end of the syringe. Attach the tip of the syringe to the end of the lure lock port. Twist the syringe to make sure it's a tight connection and prevent any leaking. And then inject the solution. Untwist the syringe. Set that off to the side. Reattach our lure lock fitting. And now we can take off our gloves and our safety glasses. We'll hit next. And now we can run the cleaning cycle.
Once the cleaning cycle is complete, we'll hit next. And now we'll use the fitting removal tool once again to detach those fittings from the cleaning tubes. Once we've removed the fittings, we can move on. And now it's time to install our cartridges. For our demonstration, we'll be using the LabStrong D00337KT cartridge kit. So we'll select that on the screen. Note the placement of the four cartridges in your kit on this screen. And if you forget later on, you can always hit the back button to refer back to this screen. And now we'll install cartridge number one into position number one, which is on the far right side. Remember that cartridge number one is the only cartridge out of the four in your kit with that white NFC tag on the back side. We'll lock it into place here. And once it reads with that NFC tag reader on the back side, a green check mark should appear on our screen. We'll hit next. And now we'll attach our fittings. Once again, make sure to push past that first resistance until you hear a snap into place on both the top and the bottom. We'll hit next. And now we'll install our remaining three cartridges, making sure that the fittings are locked into place on each of those as well. The Rapids display makes every step of this process very easy to understand, but if you ever have questions, you can always call us right here at LabStrong by dialing the number on the screen. After we're done installing those cartridges, we'll hit next and make sure all of our fittings are connected and tight. We can hit next, and now we can run our purge air cycle, which will take about five minutes. Before we do so though, let's do a couple things really quick. Let's reattach our cartridge strap. And then let's use the Velcro on the back of the fitting removal tool to attach it to the cartridge strap for easy storage. And now we'll run the cycle. Once the purge air cycle is complete, we can hit next. And now we can detach our dispenser hose and our standard dispenser fitting and reattach our final filter. The final step in the process is simply to replace our cartridge cover. But before we do so, we highly recommend checking for leaks within the system. To do this, we'll hit next, then done. Then turn the system to on mode. And all we'll do here is dispense water for about 20 to 30 seconds. These leaks would simply be the result of any of our fittings not being properly attached. If there are leaks, as we're dispensing, we'll notice water dripping from any of the fittings on the bottom of the cartridges, or little pools of water forming towards the fittings on top of the cartridges. We can also feel with our hands as we're dispensing and see if any of the fittings feel wet or feel like they might be leaking water. If your system is leaking, we'll have another video coming up about how to check for leaks and fix them if there are any. Also, if your system isn't reading the ASTM Type 1 water purification standard of 18.0 megaohm per centimeter or greater, compensated at 25 degrees Celsius, that's completely normal. It might take a little bit for your system to rinse up to the ASTM Type 1 standard and for that reading to show up on your display. So let's dispense for about 20 or 30 seconds and see if our system might be leaking from any of the fittings. Once we're confident that there are no leaks, we are good to go and we can replace our cartridge cover. To do so, start from the top and tilt the cover downwards until you feel it snap into place with those magnets. And our final step is to celebrate because we have just completed the entire process. As a final note, the Rapid system has a really slick feature that'll let you know the next time your cartridges are running low. Every time you replace a cartridge kit, the system will automatically make a note of how many liters of water that kit dispensed before it was replaced. That amount becomes the benchmark for the next kit. Then, when your next cartridge kit reaches 75% of that benchmark amount, the system will let you know and display a notification code and a QR code that you can scan to take you to a page to order a new cartridge kit so you can be ready when that current cartridge kit completely expires. And that is it for today. Today we learned how to replace exhausted cartridge kits and install new cartridge kits in the LabStrong Rapids Type 1 water purification system. Thank you so much for watching. At LabStrong, we're committed to making your lab life easier. For additional content, subscribe to our YouTube channel. And as always, for additional help, contact the experts right here at LabStrong.